it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and we are back with some videos talking about razor bumps, irritation, bikini line scars, all of that fun stuff. I want to give you guys an update on the products that I've been using and newer products that I recently started using to help fade those scars. It is an ever continuous journey and I'm still on it and maybe you are too so hopefully there are some products in here that will work out for you. Of course I want to give a little bit of a disclaimer here. It's very obvious but no I'm not a doctor. I'm not certified in anything but being myself. So anything that I'm saying here um, you know use your own discretion. So if any of the products end up causing you irritation or you know you break out from it or things like that like you know stop using it and go into something else let's rewind a bit and see what journey we were on so we were previously using bush bomb I had the oils and I was using those daily and the exfoliator I'll start off and say that I actually really need to repurchase the exfoliator scrub because I feel like using that every single day or every other day was really helpful to keeping the ingrown hairs and the bumps at bay now that I've changed up my routine I use these pretty much every time after I've shaved or waxed so that it can soothe the skin because those were some of the properties that were a part of these oils so I kind of just use them at one off but I will say that the exfoliator scrub I definitely would use again now the reason why I stopped using these is because I was trying to go to the next level and see like what out there is really gonna like blast these you know scars away around the time of July I came across this product this is the dark spot corrector from Enniskin I got it on Amazon one of those things where you're just searching late at night or whatever and you're like what's gonna work you read a bunch of really good reviews it had a bunch of heavy hitters it seemed like kojic acid some root extracts lactic acid salicylic acid so i thought like hey this is definitely going to work i've been using this since july it is now november and i've been like anything happening is anything happening like I use this religiously I even mentioned it in a comment uh, from one of the previous videos where someone's like what are you using right now and I was like I'm using this I can't really say if it's really working but I'm really trying to stick with it and I really like kept going I don't know how much I have left in here because I can't really see it's easy to put on a little bit goes a long way doesn't leave your skin tacky or anything like that I just put it right on the areas of concern and unfortunately I'm not really noticing anything like it's literally been July August September October November four months so I don't think this actually works also when you purchase this you get a little note from the seller that's like oh if you give a good review we'll give you like a $20 gift card I think that might be why some of the reviews are so positive which is something that you have to kind of like fall into when you're reading reviews anyway I've kind of slowly set this one aside recently because I started using something else but um yeah so if you're out there and you're interested about this I would not recommend this actually I don't feel like anything really was going on around that same time that I started using the dark spot corrector I was like ooh, I found the thing like I can't wait to tell everyone I use it like I found the thing that is gonna clear my dark scars and so I got the bump eraser body scrub from first aid beauty this has 10% AHA AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids which is really good for you know disrupting that first layer of the skin I did a video way back on AHAs and BHAs of breaking down what they exactly mean and how they're useful to you. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that down below because I think it's really helpful. Again, it's months later and uh, I don't really see anything. I would equate this to being like a pumice stone, but like in liquid form or like, you know, a scrub form. Mm. It's made my skin smoother, which I think is what most people use it for. KP, I believe, is that... Um, that word that's really hard keratin paralysis or something like that um, that most people use when they have the little bumps and grooves on their legs oh I always have construction this building is so annoying I think that I've actually been wasting my time using this uh, other than making it really smooth I didn't see any massive lightning change or a massive scar so that's why I was like not mentioning anything about my skin for a couple months because I really wanted to use these products long enough to tell you like hey is this working is this not and unfortunately I feel like I would probably have been better off using this on my skin like in bumpier areas and not bumps as in like ingrown hair you know what sometimes you win sometimes you lose in this case this didn't work out for me so off to the side so now I was in a position where I was like what is gonna work as I was applying a toner one day and I was like what else could be used I mean these are the things I use on my face for acne scars and those are dark spots and they do lighten so could that not be used you know on your body as well 
And so a light bulb went off. We don't know if it's a bright light yet because we'll find out in a couple months, but a light bulb went off where I was like, why don't I try using my toner? Not just like my rose water toner, but like one of the heavy hitters, which is the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid 7%. This is like legendary. And look how much like I've used so far. So I've had this for a couple months using it on my face and like this is gonna last me. Like this is probably like a year or something like that. I love this because you guys know I'm obsessed with The Ordinary. It definitely cleared my cystic acne. I've been using it for years. And so now we're moving on to scar treatment, etc. So I finally got this one to use at nighttime to help with my scars on my face and like, hello, we're doing really well. And I was like, all right, is this kooky to start using this in my bikini area? Am I making sense? You know, looking at the product again, I was like, what is inside of it? Glycolic, we know that that's really good for getting into the skin, for exfoliating. That's what we need. It's a chemical exfoliant as opposed to like a physical scrubber, which sometimes actually is not that good um, for that area unless it's made of, you know, the beads that are really gonna disintegrate fast. Like that nude scrub from Bush Bomb, that was useful because that was a sugar scrub, so it does dissolve. So a chemical exfoliant, it's gonna go right deep down into the skin. It's gonna help shed those layers. It's gonna work from the inside out. I've been doing this for about a week or two, so I, I feel like, it doesn't irritate, less is more, it goes on smooth, which is really nice. Doesn't leave my skin tacky or feeling kind of weird. I haven't noticed any sort of um, irritation or like this shouldn't be used here or burning or anything like that. So I'm gonna continue using this because it's in the bikini area, it's not getting much sunlight, so less irritation or you know sunburn alert that they always talk about with this thing because this product is supposed to be ideally used in the PM. After I get out of the shower and I dry off, I just pat like a little in the area and we're good to go. Again, like I said, I haven't noticed anything crazy. So next thing, oh my God. Let's move to my bathroom and maybe it won't be as chaotic as it is right now. Okay, it just stopped. I'll get this in really quickly. Wanted to previously use this brand for my acne scars. I reached out to them, they didn't respond. We love it. Um, so I was like, okay, we'll just wait on it. But then I realized that they had a body product and I was like, well, body, bikini area, that's your body, this should work. So I got the Faded Topicals Brightening and Clearing Mist from Sephora. And this has a bunch of heavy hitters that I mentioned that are really good for dark scars, which is Kojic Acid, Tranexamic Acid, Alpha Arbitin, which is vitamin C, Niacinamide, licorice root and this also does have glycolic acid as well. In theory this should be like exactly what it says which is a brightening and clearing mist. I like the idea of this. I'm only spraying in a very small area and when I read the reviews it said a little goes a long way and it absolutely does. The first time embarrassing. I sprayed a bunch and I you know covered the area and it was tacky and sticky and it was just a mess so less is more with this and you will have a little bit of a tacky finish for a bit so you know do a little air dry action i'll spray this so that you can see in my hand what it's like so you get oops, see it drips so you get that much product okay i banished myself to the bathroom because the construction but anyway what i was saying is that it does have a little bit of a dry tacky finish like it has to kind of like settle into the skin a bit so it says it's the solution for stubborn marks scars and spots we got some stubborn scars so those are the products that i've been using to try to help my scars the first couple that i mentioned didn't really do too well for me but i'm hoping that if i did the math right the math is mathing the glycolic toner and this combines like every other day or so should kind of help over time with the scars. This is my starting video in a couple months or maybe I'll give it like two months. I'll do an update to see if anything's changed. What I use is a um, a wax paste from Sugar Dough. That's what I've been using to wax my bikini area. So I'm not shaving in the areas where I have problem spots, but I'm using the wax. And so that's helping to get things out. And I haven't been seeing too many ingrown hairs from that, which is really, really great. Anyway, so that is my video. Comment down below if you have something that's been really helping you with your scars share with the class down below I feel like a lot of us go through it and maybe we don't always want to mention it but I think it's worth mentioning so we can find a solution and move from there again these two items are just like my idea that they should make sense to work and I feel like from the process that I've had with my skin on my face, it should work even though the skin in your face is different from the skin down there. But I will definitely be updating you guys in a couple months to see how everything's going and hopefully we will have a solution. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.